telling you what, we got a good football team and good people, and we got a tough football team. I want to turn it up. You got it, uh, Dalton? Turn it down! Hey, welcome in. Glad you're with us. Razorback football with Sam Pittman. Arkansas defeats Kent State 28-6, 2-0 on the season. Coach, as we said on the radio, maybe not the best game, but nah. you're 2-0, and, and that's what matters well, most. They can only give you two. You know, they didn't give us two wins for 56-13 last week. We've got to play better. Really proud of our defense, uh, the way they played the second half, especially, and uh, proud of the way we we played much better in the second half. But got a lot of work to do. We'll work. I got great kids. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get better. You were so much better, particularly defensively in the second half. I think until the final drive for Kent State, they had about four yards. Yeah. You had a big goal line stand at the end of that drive yeah. too. Well, we can build on that because if you really think about it, the outcome of the game was not in doubt at that point. And so what is that? What are you playing on? You're playing for the fans. You're playing for yourself, playing for your brother. And to be th like this and, and four downs couldn't score, uh, that was really great. You played without Rocket Sanders. You knew that was going to be the case. A.J. Green performed well for you. And then K.J. You know, you ran the ball a good bit with K.J. in the second half. and. That seemed to get you going on the ground a little bit. Well, we had to. You know, we had had some things in for short yardage and things of that nature, but uh, he just was he was a spark that we needed and uh, did a really good job, made some key fourth downs for us, third down runs for us. Um, you know, we got to get better running the football. We knew that last week. Uh, ran for a few more yards this week, but I don't know that we were any better. Well, we'll have to figure it out a little bit. Uh, we've got a long way to go in that category. Over 73,000 on hand at Razorback Stadium for the football game. We've got highlights, we've got comments, we've got a lot more to do, so stay with us. Razorback football with Sam Pittman continues in just a moment. <laughs> Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Coca-Cola. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. By Ford and the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Walmart. Save money. Live better. Walmart. By Farm Bureau Insurance of Arkansas. When life happens, make sure you're counting on the home team because we're there when it matters. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A handshake means something. It's a warm greeting, the quiet promise of things to come. To Jack Stevens, a handshake embodied the principles of good business. It provided the foundation for a family-owned independent financial services firm built on integrity and trust that is still run that way today. That's why when we do business, we do it the Stevens way where a handshake means just a little bit more. Hey, what's up? I just had a little accident. What do I need to do? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Where are you? I'm out at the park. I'm actually just down the road from you. I can be right there. Don't worry, we'll get you back on the road in no time. Because at Farm Bureau Insurance of Arkansas, we will be there when it matters. Greatness starts with a strong tradition, powered by a fierce work ethic, a spirit of remarkable innovation, and unmatched leadership that spans generations. Find your greatness in an F-150, official truck of the Razorbacks. Now. Get 3.9% for 60 months, plus 750 bonus cash, plus 1,000 trade assist on a 2023 F-150, official truck of Arkansas.
Whoa Pig Suey. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Vold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. It would be hard to order up a more perfect Saturday than the one we are enjoying in Fayetteville today. Razorback football has returned to the campus, and we are glad to greet you from inside Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. Alimo gets the shotgun snap, rolling to his right. He's got some time looking downfield. Now nowhere to throw, and Arkansas is going to run him out of bounds. On third down, Jefferson gets the snap. Quick slant over the head of his intended receiver. That was Jaden Wilson. Alimo looking to throw. Looks right toward the sideline. Corner out, complete out near the 40-yard line. Nice throw and catch. Third and nine. They're going to throw off play action. Pressure coming. Alimo escapes for a moment, but he can't get away from Trajan Jeffco. Jeffco dumps him. It's a good snap down the kicks long enough it's a low line drive and it's good trips left that's into the open side of the field got a new running back in the game and throw it short and it's intercepted inside the 25 that's going to be a touchdown arkansas picks it off that is antonio greer transfer from south florida first action of the season into the end zone hogs are on the board kj on third down and 10. Gets the snap, out of the gun. Now he's flushed, in trouble, and they dump it. Alimo gets the snap, in trouble, spins away, goes down at the 20. Good snap. The hold is down, the kick is up, it's got the distance, and it's good. On second down and a yard, Green again. He's got an opening at the 40, outside the numbers at midfield. Green into Kent State territory. Trips right, that's into the open side. Jefferson to throw, plenty of time down the middle into double coverage, and it's still caught by wow. Tesla. Third down goal to go, just outside the five. In the gun, KJ, bad snap, balls on the ground. Jefferson picks it up, rolling right. Got a man, touchdown, Arkansas. Armstrong in the back of the end zone. The snap hit the turf. KJ never panicked, picked it up, rolled right, and the throw was right on the money. Alimo, Arkansas would love to make him throw. Now he does, in trouble, dumped. They got him back at the 44-yard line. Three of them had chances. Going to be a 14-6 Razorback lead as they head into the locker room. Well, Coach, first half highlights, one of the things you notice, there is that battle for the line of scrimmage. There always is, and, and that'll be the case, I guess, every time you play. Well, it will be, and, and uh, you know, we was really fortunate to score there late in the second. Mm -hmm. uh, but Greer picked us up, you know, with the, with the pick. We needed it. I thought it would spark us a little bit more than what it did, but you know, our defense couldn't get off the field, and I think we had nine minutes of possession in that first half, and the offense couldn't stay on the field. Uh, but the defense bent, but they didn't break. And, and uh, so we just got a lot of work to do there, but I think we can, get it, we can get it fixed. You've had five interceptions now, that being the fifth there from Greer. You've talked about guys on the offensive side who can catch it. you got some guys on the defensive side crazy? who can too. We've got five picks and two for touchdowns. Mm -hmm. We've got to be the only team in the country that's not, maybe not, but uh, that's pretty dang good right there. And, and uh, we do ball drills every day, so it's working out for us. We saw KJ on a play where the ball was bobbled. He picks it up off the ground, end up scoring a touchdown, found Armstrong in the back of the end zone. There's a there's a poise that you get from a veteran player you don't always get from another one. Well, he's been there before, mm -hmm. and uh, he's, he's just a guy that when he wants to make a play, he usually makes it. Had one point where he almost came out of a – an ankle tackle, which would have been a long run as well. But uh, he, he shows a lot of maturity. And again, you've got a three-year starter, uh, a guy that really knows how to make something out of nothing a lot of the times. All right, you're going into the locker room now. What's your message to your football team? Well, defensively, uh, we got to get off the field. We didn't have a three and out. Uh, when we're hitting them, they're driving us. Or we're hitting them at two, they're getting to five. Uh, offensively, uh, we got to strain more. We got to play harder. Um, uh, we got to find runs that we can run that we can, you know, get four or five yards. So, um, 
Mine was straining on offense, the urgency of making your block, of finishing a run, of catching a pass, and then defensively, let's get them three and out. We, we, they're, they're running the clock on us, and we got to get the ball back. Second half highlights when we come back on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. <laughs> Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, take good care, Stevens, capitalize on independence, by Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Download the app today and earn points with Taco Bell Rewards. What does it mean to be taken care of? and to know that the people around you are taken care of too. What does it feel like to trust that you'll be able to get health care, to prevent illness, and to help you heal? Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind so you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. They're ahead 14 to 6 as we prepare for the second half of action, but Quinn Grovey, it has not gone the way that many thought it would. Sam Pittman, I think his first words to Gino were getting her butt kicked. Alimo's in the gun, gets the snap, wants to throw. Here comes the pressure, in trouble, rolling right, got to get rid of it. Hey, there's nobody over there, and the ball didn't get to the line of scrimmage. That might be grounding. They bring Tesla in motion across the formation. They're going to run an option right. KJ keeps it. He's got the first down at the 40. KJ wanting to throw off play action, looking deep. Now it's short on a corner out, complete to Wilson inside the 30. Jefferson from the gun gets the snap, wants to throw. Time underneath, short, low, but caught. Tesla caught it at the six. And KJ gets the snap, gives it to Dominion right side. Touchdown, Arkansas. From the Arkansas 44-yard line, Alimo's going to throw. He's flushed, trying to escape. Can't do it. He's sacked back at his own 44-yard line. Third and 11 here, though. Jefferson out of the gun, gets the snap. He's rushed. He's gets, he gets away. He gets away, and now he's across the 45 to midfield. He eludes another tackler, and he'll get all the way down to the 44-yard line. Jefferson fakes, rolls left, looks into the end zone. Got a man open there on the sideline. Complete touchdown, Arkansas. On second and four, Alimo wants to throw. Now he's got to run, and he's going to lose a yard. A quick snap. Thomas gets the call. Stood up. Pooh Paul stood him up. Fourth and goal. High snap, running back, tackle in the backfield. He didn't get in. He didn't get in. Arkansas whipped him at the line. Landon Jackson led the charge. Garcia never had a chance, and Kent State turns it over on down. They're going to toss it into the boundary. DeBinion trying to get to the edge. He's across the 25. They hit him out of bounds. And with 20 seconds to play in the game, that's going to be it. Sam Pittman off the sideline, beginning to make his way to midfield. 
Arkansas is 2-0. And, oh, and that's what you take away from this one. 28 to 6, our final score. How about that defense? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We got to a slow start, but we bounce back. And show them what Arkansas defense is about. We still got a long ways to go, you know what I'm saying, but progress. Coach, let's talk about the defensive stand, the goal yeah. line stand. That was one of the positives there at the end of the ball game. You talked about it a little bit earlier in the show. You're going to win either way. Right. But there's pride on the line right there. I think there. that's the biggest deal that I came away with is they just they just didn't want them to score. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times you can will your way to things, especially when you have when you have talent. And if you look at it, each play, somebody else different made the big play of it. Somebody else, somebody else. And Pooh kind of started it. And then, of course, Landon Jackson, you know, at the end there, uh, really made a lot of penetration in there, just came flying off the football and made that big play. I told the defense, I said, it's fifth and four, you know, and uh, I thought it was really a big, big thing that we can build on. I know you've got to go back and watch the tape, but I wonder about your linebackers. I think about Pooh down there yeah. at the goal line when he came free and yeah. made that hit. Sanders and Greer. What what you think about the way they play? Well, I think, you know, we're still uh, we're playing well. We're still learning a lot of about T. Will's defense. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we we missed assignment of two on a linebacker or on a tight end mm -hmm. out of the backfield, but they play extremely hard. They made big plays. Uh, once we get a little more comfortable as we continue to practice, I think that group, that core group of guys is going to be really good. Well, stay with us. We've got more to come on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. <laughs> Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit Cox.com for exclusive offers. Mercy official hospital of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. And by Dillard's, the style of your life. How powerful is Cox Internet? So powerful that one day you'll be able to transform this pile of plastic pieces into a super bot, which could transform you from just Julian's dad into Julian's hero. Get gig speeds powered by fiber from Cox. It's internet built for tomorrow, today. It's a beautiful morning, Scotty, and we have an early game today. That injured list, it's getting longer by the minute. Not to mention, uh, there's apparently a nasty virus sweeping through the locker room. Yeah, but these players, they're in good hands. All of them need to feel their best this season, Scotty. Yes, they do, Jack, because this team is on track to win it all this year. Every day, Mercy's team is ready to take care of yours, bringing you the care you need now. Find out all the ways to access Mercy at mercynow.net. We don't just have everything. We have your thing. On the next big day. Ready? Go. Love where you live and play at an apartment, community, or golf course managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with community amenities, including golf courses, fitness centers, tanning beds, playgrounds, and resort-style swimming pools at select locations. Are you looking to buy or sell your home and want an experienced agent to guide you through the process? Lindsay & Associates has been serving the community and bringing great neighbors together for 50 years. Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. One of the stars for the Razorback defense, Trey John Jeffcoat, had a sack and a half in the win over Kent State. Now, man, I watch you go after that quarterback. I mean, you've got that radar going. Just kind of tell us what's going through your mind when you're closing in like that. Uh, definitely just playing hard for the defense. Uh, I'm just trying to give it everything I got for my brothers. So the companionship that we have, we all share that. We all want to give it all. So 
I'm just thinking about my team as I'm coming around the corner. It seemed like in the second half, the defense got better at the line of scrimmage. Did you guys make adjustments? I think about the goal line stand, or was just some pride at stake right there? It, it was definitely some pride. Uh, we, we definitely take heed of everything that's going on on the field. We want to get better at it. So we just uh, talked to each other. It was like, man, we need to play harder. We need to play better. So just like I said, like the companionship we had, it made us want to play harder for each other. And then at the end of the day, we triumphed. We showed what we could do a fourth, uh, fourth, fourth down stand. So, uh, hey, we're it. sure glad you're a Razorback. But That's I got to ask you about that decision to come to Arkansas. I was definitely, it was definitely about the family. When I stepped in this building, it was a whole family-oriented place. When I came in, I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. Like they care about you as a person before a player. I never seen that. That was definitely different. Uh, that's my love for Coach Pitt, my love for the coaching staff, Coach T. Will, Coach Deke, everyone. But uh, everyone showed everyone love, everybody. So, Big uh, week really this week, this, uh, BYU. Talk a little bit about that. Oh, we, we definitely going to have to play some physical football. Uh, we're going to have to get in the film room, uh, look at it, create a game plan, and go from there. Congratulations. We appreciate right. you joining Thank us. Thank you so much. Trey John Jeffcoat, our star of the game. Hogs win big. They'll try to do it again next Saturday night. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Vold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Ford, Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Coca-Cola, with zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. And by Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Greatness starts with a strong tradition. Powered by a fierce work ethic, a spirit of remarkable innovation, and unmatched leadership that spans generations. Find your greatness in an F-150, official truck of the Razorbacks. Now, get 3.9% for 60 months, plus 750 bonus cash, plus 1,000 trade assist on a 2023 F-150, official truck of Arkansas. Whoa, pig suey. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now. That your body's healthy. And that those around you are taken care of too. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years. Providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine former Razorbacks were inducted into the University of Arkansas Hall of Honor in a ceremony in Fayetteville on Friday night. Among them, former Razorback football player Felix Jones and former Razorback head coach Houston Knight. And I'd ask my mom, what's, the, what's, what's going on? Razorbacks are coming to the town. Are we going? Yep, you're going. You'll be sitting in the end zone. <laughs> it's my favorite seat because all my heroes came down that ramp. And I, a little bit later on, I had this dream, I'm going to be in the NFL, NBA, or both. Why are you laughing? <laughs> that, was my, that was my goal. But before that, I was a ball boy with Craig Harper, head man over at J.B. Hunt. We were ball boys, and I get to watch my idols come down that ramp. I knew every number, height, weight, size, where they're from. And it was a great feeling when the fans started calling the hogs. 
Never could I dream that I'd be the head coach one day at the University of Arkansas. Hunter, it's Friday night, and I'm, I'm starting to feel it now. They know. Dean, you know, you got the, you got the food ready. We, we're taking that trip over there, guys, to Bentonville, Rogers, in that nice hotel. We just went to a movie. We're coming back. We're going to get one more reel in. Here we go. We're going to get one more reel. We're going to be mentally ready. I think this is going get, to get really good vibes for tomorrow, 3 o'clock. In fact, I'm sorry, I can't. Felix, come on. Darren McFadden, come on. I need all, I got 50 players. I need 50 players here right now. Come on. I want one more thing. I want y'all up on stage. Let's go. For 12 years, for 12 years, I hadn't had a team. And I tell you what, you see this? It's, it's an automatic bond that lasts for a lifetime. And the one thing you can't buy is that celebrated locker room. I miss the relationship so much. That's the thing I miss so much. I can't tell you how many times we went to battle together and I felt so good on this Friday night because I knew we were prepared. I knew these guys were ready. All we got to do, all I had to do is get them through that A. All I had to do is get them through the day because they were going to be ready. Guys, there's, these were the best days of our life. It was a privilege to coach these guys. Hey, guys, I'm here because of you. I'm here because of you. That's the only reason I'm up here, because of the coaches and because of you. And I want to thank you all so much for being the best with a great attitude. I appreciate you all. Well, it was quite a night on Friday night at the Razorback Hall of Honor. Nine inductees, as we mentioned a little bit earlier. and I think everybody had a good time. Coach, now you turn your attention to BYU. You've yeah. got a night game coming in Fayetteville on Saturday night. And as you said, there's, there's work to do between now and then. Yeah, they've got a good football team, great head coach. Love the guy. Um, you know, obviously, we went out there last year, and there's a fight, fight, fight until the end. Uh, excited to come and play at night. Mm -hmm. And so looking forward to it. you got a really good football team, good defense. I know you've talked about physical play. Seems like it's going to be a requirement next it, Saturday night. It will be. Yeah. And... Uh, and we're looking forward to it. All right, Coach. Congratulations. Right, Thank 2 you, 0. Appreciate it. Razorbacks and BYU next Saturday night at 630. We'll be here when it's over for more Razorback football with Sam Pittman.